I just got this 85 to 210 mm lens and since outside it was clear and full moon I decided to take a video of the moon. You can see more details about this lens in the second part of this video. You are probably wondering how did I got 1260mm on 35mm equivalent from a 210mm lens. And the answer is that my camera is a micro four third camera and the sensor inside the camera it's much smaller than the 35mm film or the full frame sensor. It's, uh, it's basically uh, two times smaller in diagonal than the 35mm film. So this means that uh, you get a crop factor of two so uh, the 210mm lens will be basically equivalent with a 420mm lens on a 35mm camera. So this is how I got 420 millimeters and if I'm going to take a picture using the entire uh, area of the sensor so 4000 by 3000 pixels in my case then um, uh, I will get the same results with this 210 millimeter lens as you will get with a 35 millimeter camera using a 420 millimeter lens and but when I take video there is an option called extended optical zoom and what this does is it's using only the just a part of the sensor of the area of the sensor in the middle that it's exactly 1280 by 720p so uh, this is nine times smaller than the entire area of the sensor so you basically get an additional three time optical zoom. It's not digital because you don't lose uh, uh, the resolution, you get the same resolution. By multiplying the 420 millimeter with a uh, three time extended optical zoom, you get the 1260 millimeter. And additionally, there is also a two time digital zoom that looks uh, acceptable even though it will reduce the resolution in half. And there is also a four time digital zoom, but this one doesn't really look too good because the resolution will be too low and uh, the image will not look great.
I also used black and white for the video and it seems to look quite good at uh, 2x digital zoom. I used a tripod but it was inside the house and the house is a wood structure so even my heartbeat will shake the image at this kind of magnification and also the image was through a window and because it's quite cold outside at this time of the year in Saskatchewan so um, I had to be inside but uh, I will try later to to take some image when it will be warmer outside. This is a 12 megapixel image, um, how it looks out of the camera. And this is a crop of the same image. The moon is about a little bit more than 400 pixel in a diagonal. And if you want to see more about this lens, like I said, you should watch the part 2 of this uh, video. And I will describe more in detail this lens. And this is a Sanyo Exacti that I have. And Last year I took a similar shot of the moon, of the full moon, with this camera. So um, you will see next this. Um, this is from 38mm up to, I think now it's uh, maximum 10x optical zoom, that's 380mm equivalent. And this is already a digital zoom, but uh, like I said, digital zoom is not too great and this camera has 10 time digital zoom but it will not help you with anything. 